Now we come to that part where we want to add some bronze. And of course we don't want to see any closures when the project is done. So that is why uh, we first now need to put some uh, design paper on top, then put the lid, uh, the knob on top, so the boards can go in here, and then put the black on so it's cover up. So let's get the design papers. And I know I used this one for the front and back. And I used this large piece for on top. And I think that fits perfectly with this one. So, but if you choose anything else, go ahead. But I really like this because I really want to use this first. So what I did is cut out this piece. And... Um, it's smaller, so first I am going to cut, um, let's say, the right size for this one. So that is this one. So I cut this straight and leave this for a moment. And now I'm going to see where I want this. Now I can move this along to this side whatever I want to choose. Now I really like this, this, this flower and I don't want to waste any of the flower and the, the knob is going to be in the middle so I think I am going to choose to do this as far on this side. So I'm going to cut first my green edge here This is the good side, and now I can apply this nicely where it should be. So, making a mark here and then there, and then I'm going to cut it. Now I'm first going to cut the long side and then the small side. And yeah, you know me, I always uh, keep these. You can do anything uh, with it in a later stage. So grab a little basket and put these in. Just to make safe later. Okay, let's grab a inked pad and I think I'm going to use vintage photo again. I just love that one. Um, I'm going to wound these a little up, just a little, this is a um, corner punch, a 3-in-1, 4mm, 7mm, 10mm, and uh, Memory Keepers have, has this, has this one too, so if you like to purchase something like that, This fits perfectly. Yep, so I can attach that. And by the way, there is a link. Um, if you want to use exactly the same materials as I do, um, there is a link, and I will use. Um, I'm going to try not to forget it. But I will uh, leave the link below the description box where you can find a link where you can find um, a website and it's a Dutch website especially for my Dutch followers. Um, if you want to use any materials I use too like uh, scissors and another scissor or glue or anything I use. Um, you can find 
on the bottom on the bottom scrap queen materials and then you can if you like order from there then you help me a little too okay this is nice and smooth okay let's grab the bronze basket here is our bronze basket which is in the kit and let's grab what's in it well of course we have the lion and we have the four feet and the knob and the screw the, the, the I call this this tiny little thing screw drive well anyway so okay let us first see what the middle is Let's move this a little so this is the middle from here and then here is the middle. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to make sure that the knob is in the middle and then I'm going to make a little mark where my hole is going to be now be gentle and keep your finger here so you don't push to the chipboard and let's grab one of the boards these are nice long boards perfectly fits so they have a good hold and use your bone folder to make this nice flat okay let's go to the other piece make another hole in it grab your other board And hello. You are not quite tight. Let's bend this a little. You see, this little leg is not pointing together, and that is why. It did not smoothly go in. Now it should be, but yeah, there it goes. With a little help. Use your bone folder to squeeze this nice and flat. There it is. Perfect. And now, yes, now we can use our piece. Well, this is already dry, of course, but let's see if this still fits. Yes, it does. It does. So, okay, let's glue it on. go anywhere okay and let's go nicely to all the edges is that all right so yeah 
this piece is done and yeah of course uh, we can do what we can do is this later I glued on some wet paper and then covered it up with nice stuff but we do that later later alligator okay I really like this Let's smooth this a little it a little bit more. Perfect. Cool, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's see if I made it exactly the same. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you see the flowers, I now made a little more to the white. You see that? Just a slightly. Yeah. This one's better. Alright, so, okay. Up to the next part. So, before we go further, we are going to attach the front and the back and the sides. Now, this, I know, I think, if I see correctly, I did use one sheet out of this so I started at this point so I want to make a nice little edge and I just use the marker where this is going to be I'm just going to cut my first piece that goes on front okay this now why do I use two glues well I know the white glue the arc glitter glue is really drying nicely fast without leaving an ugly um, an ugly be uh, ugly um, where the glues come underneath out <laughs> oh my gosh what a bad English <laughs> anyway <laughs> I hate when the glue comes under the paper and the arc glitter glue really attached really 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 well so yeah I just love it Okay, so this is the front, and then the back, I think I just, yeah, I did use this piece for the back. So again, I am going to see where this is going and leave your scraps we can oh this is heavy <laughs> oh my gosh I was moving my box away but it is pretty heavy let's see where is my mark oh my gosh I think it's that one where do I leave my mark? Oh! On this piece perhaps? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Save it. Save it for later. 
Okay. Just going to cut off the edges. And I don't know if I did this on the first one. I do not believe so, but... But hey, you cannot do anything, everything, exactly the same thing. Perhaps my booklets will do a little different than the first booklets. You never know with me. It's always a journal, a journey <laughs> with me. So, yeah. I was thinking to myself, why do I each time make a tryout? Why not film wide away? Well, I really don't know, do, do not know, but for some reason with the kids I do film, uh, I do make first a tryout, but I really think that is not necessary at all. But okay, and then we have two pieces left which fits perfectly. On these. I bet they did, but I will remembered that I did something. I remembered that I cut these in half, so I have exactly two the same ones, and yes, now I have not enough, but you see, now I do not have enough for the size, but I cover that up with some um, wet cardstock. So yeah, it's it really gives. It is an option, but if you don't like that, then you don't like that, of course. But I did. <laughs> So let's see where was my. I did know that I have some left over. Yeah, right here. So why not use it? So what I'm gonna do is measure this up on the white spot. On the white spot. Let's say. I like it like this. Yep, that is good. Now, next thing, I'm going to cut this. was the good size and now I only need the I call that the edges so I'm just going to put some glue on not only put some glue on girl focus focus I only put um, for the edges so if I line this up like this, then I can easily cut around this edge. It's perfectly. Yay! I do like this also wound up. And you, you're probably thinking why am I leaving... Well, this is so small and I did sometimes not make this correctly. So now I see that little paper 
going in there and yeah that's just for my extra check that um, it will be perfectly cut I'm odd I know I know I know I'm odd I am terrible Wiggle this on the right spots. Not too high, not too low. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Well, the other one. Needs, of course, exactly the same. Hope you want to join me still. Let's put this. Ooh, this is almost a good size. Almost. Almost. Yep, that does it. I don't know about you guys, but I am terrible reading these uh, music notes. And it's not quite um, difficult, but I really don't know what is straight. I really, <laughs> I really don't. That's for me terrible. I always thought that the, the black uh, round things from the music notes are supposed to be down but it also can do like this because here are also the hmm oh yeah difficult I know I know I know I know let's say well I'm so sorry I really don't know <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, I see, I forgot to twin this. Okay. I think I like, yeah, I like it in this corner. Little edge, a little edge. That'll do. Oh, yep. That's that. Okay. Um, this one was for the part for the lion. Alright. Okay. So, um, where do we want the lion? Well, first I am going to see what the middle is. And the middle is... There is the middle. Okay, so yeah, that now it's it's really up to you if you want the nose in the middle or you want this to be equal. That's totally up to you, I think, because the hole is the nose. Yep. 
think I want my marker right here. Just a little above. Alright. Um, now I want a little larger hole because I want this screwdriver to go in. And that's why I really like this one. So this needs to go all the way in. So I am going to do that. Now I have this ugly piece. I'm going to cut that off if I can. Let's see if I can do that. Watch my finger. Perhaps it was easier to use just my copper dial. Why did I not think of that earlier? I do have that, so use it! Girl, use, use, use it! Okay, it's pretty far, but why am I not use this? Let's say... Move it up. Oh yeah, that was really much easier. But if you don't have that, then just go what I just did. Anyway, make this as flat as possible. You really need that space. Space. Okay, where is it? Here it is. Tuck it in. And it really needs to go out, of course. Otherwise, it does not have any purpose. Well, I think it's enough, but we need that space. What's your... grab our lion and make some rounds let's grab a screwdriver I think I need a shorter one but Let's see if I can do it. Yep, this is going to do it. Hell yeah. This is not going anywhere. All right. So I hope you have a little screwdriver. Perhaps a shorter one than this one. But Perfect. So now, um, let's say, yeah, now we can attach these things. Let's first clean this up a little. So now we can attach these um, black tin cardstock pre preparation <laughs> things. Odd. I'm odd. Yes, I am. Now, the first thing I like to do is uh, put some tape. I hope I can manage that. Um, on the wand, on the inside the box. So I definitely know that this edge is going to be good attached 
to to the edge. If that makes sense. Oops. If that makes sense. So perhaps we can measure that and place this right on the edge where I want it. larger piece and then on the lion side So that is for that and then I'll do, this is going to be against the inside box so I need to focus. <laughs> And put some tape on the good sides of these. On the good sides. There we go. So, stay there. So, now, what I have is going to pull out the tape oh hi cool now I'm going to start with the largest pieces and now we're getting here our tape, but I like to do a little in the middle too, just in case. So let's first put this in, make sure it's nicely all the way to the bottom. This can be lying nicely flat, so use that. Here we go. Yes, okay. Now I'm grabbing the other large piece and let's attach a little extra glue. All the way to the bottom and then go to the front. Okay, and this is not going to be laying nicely flat, but we are going to decrease all edges and all the tape is attached to the paper. Goody. Okay, next one. Finished. 
small space all the way down to the bottom and the corners That's that! Alrighty. Cool. What do you think? I like it. Well, test it out if your lid is still fitting. And it should be. Just squeeze a little if it doesn't because it has to work a little. I know my first box did not work at well as well in the first time either, but it just needs to wiggle a little. Yeah, here we go. And the more you do this, the better it will fit. Trust me, it will. It really do. So the more you squeeze this a little, these nice corners, it will attach better and better and better each time see now it already is almost good see here it goes yep cool so um, yeah i think for the hand hand d i will attach first my wet um paper outside so i can easily go now and then put the feet on all right so yeah i will cut me some one inch wet paper well it's slightly smaller than a wet inch a red inch one inch and then i will glue this down and then we can put some decoration on yeah and the feet and then the box is ready wow goody 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 <laughs> all right so it's done Ready to decorate, but first we are going to um, put the feet on. So yeah, and that is a, well, a little tricky, but we can do that together. So grab the feet and the long brads and just turn it over. And you see that there is a hole in it. So. I really like to attach it with a brad, but not only with a brad, also with a um, with a little good glue. And uh, I'm going to use Potex. So yeah, I definitely know in every uh, country they have this kind of glue, but I know I can I can glue I can perhaps use this too but um, well I go for safe and I know this will attach really good it, it's just Potex uh, transparency so uh, I think any Potex will do but first we are going to make a hole in it so I'm going to turn this and make a hole in it and I'm going to be as wide as I can with it. Here we go. Well, because this is really tight for um, the bois to go in. That is really tight. But we'll do. But it will take a little, a little effort. Okay. Let's see if I can reach out and it's easier, I think, with a little help. Make sure these are nicely tight. Okay, 
that is the first one and I'm going to really push that in the corner yep. you see I hope you see that little boat and here is the outside so here I am going to attach this um, this one the feet width but I I think I first going to uh, make the other holes. I believe I did that with the other ones too. So, so I'm going to make four of these boards and then I'll come back to you. All right, all right. Um, next thing is I put all my uh, boards in it, as you can see. Nice flat pushed in the corner. Let's turn it around and now it's really easy. Just a little glue is needed. Oh. Just push it and then close those, close those legs. Use your bone folder if you want. Flattened. There we go. Grab the next one. A little in the corner. There we go. yeah now you don't have to use these boards but I just love them because I know oops I know sometimes the glue is not holding very well so that is why I really like using boards and these are nicely long so that is why I like this and with the potex it really helps a lot to stay to let these feet stay where they want it. Alright, so okay, let that dry for well, a nice night and then uh, yeah, cool. I really like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's clean this up and then well I think for the last thing for today we can do some decoration on. So I will heat my um my uh, my hot glue. <laughs> Gosh, I am terrible today again. The English. <laughs> Alright, well, we can do this in a later stage. 
the decoration but well i just like to do that first so i know the box is ready and um yeah so that is what i'm going to do um let's see where do we want to start well let's start at this side let's go up this nice piece um or shall we start with another one no i'm just going to start with this one so i grab my hot glue and we are just going to start and we are just going to attach this nice pearl all the way around Let's give it a pause in the middle So I know it's not dry at the end. Here we go. Okay. My string is not long enough. Why is that? It isn't. But I can grab another piece. No problem. No problemo. I think it was left over, so. Just grabbing another piece. Alright. Okay. Let, let me first grab an extra piece. Okay. Um, well, I forgot to film after I get back for getting my pearls. And yep, yeah, I forgot to push the button too film all right i am so sorry yeah i did it again okay i'm very very sorry but yeah it's really not a big deal uh because i can tell you so <laughs> i was gluing down the pearls the pearls then i glued the lace and then i glued the ribbon this ribbon underneath and then I glued on the mesh and I cut it of course in one row so um, so that is how my decoration looks like and yeah I like it but perhaps you have another order or perhaps you have other stuff to decorate your uh, edge with but I really like this how this turns out really shabby and yeah i like it okay and afterwards i will do the flowers and um, the other things but i will do that after but for now the box is ready i like it okay so uh, next thing is going to the booklets all right okay stay tuned okay let's start with the first booklet and why i'm laughing is because my dog gets a new toy for my hobby <laughs> today and he is really enjoying his, his toy so if you're hearing some squeezing duck on the back <laughs> that's my doggy <laughs> oh my gosh really well anyway <laughs> let's start with the first booklet and um, um, this is this one with um, the first one I made and this with, with this closure I really love this closure and when you open this up inside there is a waterfall on each side 
and uh, when you flip this up you can put nice photos on you can write in whatever you're going to like and on the back we have a nice pocket so yeah and on this side exactly the same and you can put something in the front here too if you like um, so that is what we are going to do okay stay tuned and let's see how we did it okay so for the first booklet i am going to need one a4 paper and mine a4 paper is 21 by 29 and a half centimeters and if you want to do exactly the same you can cut your 12 by 12 papers in 8 1 4 by 11 5 of an 8 inch so that is the measurements for my a4 so when i'm going to start i am going to um, score um, I have my note. <laughs> okay, we are going to score at 4 3 4, then at 5, then at 9 3 4, and then at 10. Then I'm going to turn it, and then we're going to make this piece of a score at a 1.5. But let's do that together. So I'm going to score at 4 3 4. And then at 5. And then at 9, 3, 4. And then at 10. And then we are going to turn this and score this at 1.5 inch. So that is the first base for the booklet we're going to do. So I'll give you the measurements one more time. I only have a inch scoreboard, so if you are having a centimeter scoreboard, then I, it's not quite the same, but I hope you can manage. But these are the measurements for this uh, first booklet we are going to do. Okay, so that's done. So let's see what we are going to do. I hope you can see that a little, but yeah, you can see that. First thing what we're going to do is cut this piece off. So I grab my scissor and I'm going to cut right along the sides of my fold lines. So I cut all the fold lines off. Here we go. So no fold lines are be seeing. Then this corner we don't need either. So I'm going again, cutting this, cutting off the score lines. So this is the end what we have for this page. Now perhaps, I'm not sure, but I think we are going to need to cut this a little further too, but let's fold it first. So first I'm going to fold the complete page. a nice space right here so this is the back space and this is our flap so we need that space too Now this is going to be like this, so, oops, I need to turn it over, sorry, my mistake, because we want that pocket on the bottom, of course, so just flip it over, no hard feelings, we can do that, so yeah, this is better, so now we have these flaps on the bottom, so fold this over, Alrighty. So, okay, now we are going to see if this is fitting. And perhaps it's better that we are right away going to cut this a little further. 
just a little off and do that exactly the same on this side just a little that's better so this will not go in the way and let's do that on this side too and um, well, this side it really do not need but just in case just in case I do it alright so that is step one now we need to make uh, two little hinges well four little hinges for the pocket because I really like a nice big pocket so we have a few things left so don't throw anything away and use those four first so I'm going to cut these at one and then I'm going to score this so that is the first thing let's do that again I'm going to cut this oh. please hold I need to hold it but let's cut this the rest here we go okay this the right size here we go that's one two three and I think we can use this too but let me mark a bit this this one going to use. Okay, next step is cut this a little in an angle, just a little, just, I like that better, so it won't stick out of the pocket, so yeah, that's way better. Here we go, alright. So now I, you can use any glue you like, uh, you can use um, tape or glue, just use whatever you like. But I'm going to use my arc glitter glue and just glue this on the end of the pocket. Alright, I hushed them down a bit, oh my gosh, <laughs> they were so loud downstairs. Anyway, um, I glued on my hinges and now it's just a way of gluing these down. And then we have a pocket on each side, of course. There we go. Okay, so yeah, that is that, actually. So I used a corner point for the corners of this piece that's that and um, yeah now it's time for uh, doing the waterfall so let's see where my um, where my um, notes are let's let's find them <laughs> so okay my measurements are um, four by four and a half inch or 10 by 11.4 centimeters and we need those eight times so do you have this right down okay 
So I already cut these. And now I am going to trim them. Uh, no, not trim them, score them at a half inch. Now using my mini Martha Stewart, just because it's handy for small things. Before I am going to glue them down, is I want to use a corner punch. Well, you can use any corner punch you like, of course. You can use a normal one. But I'm going to use my corner chomper, and it's just because I like this. And it's a very old one, and I know it's not available anymore. But yeah, I just keep using it because I just love it. So. Just going to do it, but you can use any kind of corner punch you like. What you have in your staff is stash is okay, of course. So it's really no big deal. I'm just using this one, and you know, I know you like this one, and I'm so sorry, memory keepers don't make this one again. Well, perhaps in the future, I can't see in the future, but. I know it's an old one and I know this one is not available anymore but I hope they will remake them um, so now this is done let's glue this in and let's just start at the top with the first one this is really really easy but it just had to be done open this up yeah, here we go. Okay, let's go with the first one. I like to place this like this. And I'm going to eyeball it in the middle. So I am in the middle. And burnish it down. And then the second one. Is just going to be against the other one. And I will show you in a minute to close what I did. So I grabbed the second piece and I placed it against the end of this one. Same as this is the end, so this is the place where the next waterfall is going to be. And that is how you get this edge. Okay, and that is what we're going to do with all four of these. And I, I want to check if it's straight, and if it's not, I just going to wiggle a little so it is straight. And then the last one. Right against. Oh, this one is off. I want it straight. Yeah, this is better. Okay. 
row and then this is just not going over the pocket. And that is what I like. So let's go to the other, the other side and place the first one, same as the other one. Look what's the middle. And placed it right on top. Go out the second one. This is way off. Why? Right, this is really way off. Wait just a minute. I did not burnish this right down. As it should be right. I don't want it straight and if my waterfall isn't straight right at the beginning then it stays off and we don't want that. I hope I can fix this. Because once it's fold, it's really not easy to fix it. But let's give it a check. Eight point eight. Yeah. Now it's good. Okay, we did it. Okay. Again, place it to the other side, and before I am going to burn it down, I check with the first one. All right, that's continuing with the third one. it down and I already see that this is not completely straight so I am going to move along so it is straight there we go and the last one fun time fun time is um, cutting out the design paper now I'm first going to cut out um, this piece for the photo mats and uh, well the photo mats are of course a little uh, smaller than this piece but you can measure that of course well I can't measure that for you guys but that's really so I think I will cut these at 11 by 8.2 and then in inches that will be um, I think 3 yeah I think in, in, in 16 that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16 Three, five, sixteen by one, two, three of an eight, four, three of an eight. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to cut eight pieces on each side. So I'm going to cut sixteen pieces for my waterfall photo mats, and then I come back to you. All right. So I glued on my um, photo mat paper, <laughs> let's call it that, and it's it's a it's a it's a cream not yeah it's a little the cream color not exactly white, um, but I really like how this turns out. It's really a nice color, and um, so now I'm first going to do the outside 
before I go in. And yeah, let's grab this piece of paper and let's cut it in the right position. So I'm just going to measure with a nice black edge on that side and a little black edge on this side. Then I lay it, this against the bottom and again make a nice black edge. So let's cut it out. Always keep your leftovers. So yeah, um, let's make this open and let's smooth the edges. Now before I am going to glue this down, but wait for just a minute, we want to make the closure. And for the closure, I am going to use my one inch circle punch. And grab a leftover piece. I want to see, yeah, this was also a leftover. A leftover piece, and I'm going to cut two for one closure. So I need four pieces for one closure. Then I do have another uh, circle punch and um, that's just how I like to use that. And I'm going to use my um, distress ink to do a little nice color brown. I just like that. Okay, and now I'm going to cut two pieces. All right, so, okay. Now is the trick to still smooch these edges and glue this on top. Okay. So it's nice in the middle. And then this piece goes on the next one. So it's a little sturdier. That's why that's how I like it. Okay. Now I grab my distress tool and go around the edges. So that is the first one. The first button or how you call these things but we like these. Well, my nails are not going to be white any longer, but who cares? We can watch them later. Okay, so glue this in the middle. Make another layer. So it's sturdier. And smooch the edges. Well, it's just how I like it. You don't have to do that. Alright, now let's grab some wets. Do you want to join me? Yep, yeah, here it is. Alright, so now I'm going to punch the first hole. And then I'm just going to see where the first one is going to be. Okay, so let's assume that I'm going to glue this down right at this spot. Then I'll flip my page down as it was a closure. And then my eyeball is the middle. All right. See. Oh right, that's me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it again. I 
think it was, yeah, right this spot. Yeah, it was. Alright, so let's make a hole. And grab a bread, punch it to the circle. And go to the papers. There we go. I always like to use my bone fold to flat this out. So now I can glue it down. Yep, here it goes. Right on the right spot. Yes, all right, so now I am going to cut the next piece, which I do like this, these letters, these, well, let us first cut this piece and then see how it goes. Where oh, I don't like this edge, so I'm going to cut this off. Yeah, it's really, really tiny, but oh, you never know with me. I'm just going to keep every single piece. And cut the rest. Save it for later. You never know. And corner punch right here. Smooch the edges. You know I like to smooch my edges. That's just a finishing touch. I just love that. Now, yeah, we can glue this down first so it's easier to attach the next round for our closure. So, okay. So let's glue this down. Nicely. where the next one want to go. What do you think? It can be right here. So move it. You don't need to move it. Move it where did I want it. Gosh, I really need a glass. I really do. Yeah, now I see it better. Okay, grab your bread. And pick it to your paper. And flatten it. Alright, that's that. Clean your space. Let's grab a little bow or, oh yeah, I can use this piece, let's use this one. Um, don't need that much, but Okay, okay. Well, I always like to wiggle a little these outside. These also, so it's easier to use them. So, hey, grab that piece. <laughs> All right. So let's tie this up.
one. I want another one. Okay. That's that for the closure. Cool. All right. So that is the closure. Done. So um, now you can decide which color, um, which color cardstock you want to use. Because on the back, um, I'm going to use another color. Um, for this, I think I want to use the wet. So I'm going to choose the wet one. Okay. So which one you are going to decide? It's all up to you. Um, but I'm going to choose a wet cardstock and this is really a deep wet one it's a really um, dark wet because I really like the vintage color of it so that's why I choose this one but I can't give you any name on, on which one it is because I really bought it brandless on a um, on a craft fair so I really can't tell you which one it is it's, it's linen that I can tell you but it doesn't have to be especially linen but this paper is linen so yeah, I really don't know if you can see this is a really dark wet but I really like this color it really match it, matches the the paper line so that is why I choose it and I always look on craft fairs if I am there for nice wet deep deep wet color but this is a brandless one so I can't tell you which which one it is really just you really have to search that for yourself I'm so sorry <laughs> I really don't have enough for everybody and I really can't find any online so um, yeah love it so um, for the inside I do use also this um, I'm going to use this wet this wet too well this is too small and this is too small so I need a bigger one so yeah I need to cut my bigger one and then we go to the inside oh, yeah. Taste, stay tuned. Alright, so I covered up these um, the inside of the closure and I covered up the background of the waterfall and I also did uh, the insides of my waterfall. I always like that. It's just a finishing touch and I just love that. Now um, for the pocket you can decide whatever you want to do. Um, I made really <laughs> and uh, I made it with this piece but um, and it will fit but it's not enough so perhaps it's an option if I will use this the same as that one um, it's an option so let's do that let's Fold this in half. And then I'm going to cut. Uh, I can use my cutter if I like, but I'm just going to cut this with my scissors. A very tiny little edge. So I cut it nice in exactly the same half. Yes, so now I cover up this piece. So let's smooch this first. And do the other side. Now, before I am going to glue this down, perhaps it's easier to grab another piece of paper. And I'm not going to use green one, I'm going to use brown. So let's use this brown one for just the background so I'm going to measure mine pocket and for the sides 
Okay, so I need two of these. Let's cut these first. And I just want to show you how I do it. Well, my covering up my pages. And oh, this needs a little, a little smaller. That's no problem. Let's cut that a little smaller. That's way better. Okay, so now if I lay this on top of here, it matches perfectly. You see? Okay, but I really like to smooch these edges. So yeah, let's glue this down first. on top but it's just whatever you prefer on your decoration if you don't like this then choose whatever you like it's just an option but it's just using up your scraps and that is yeah that's the scrap queen way <laughs> yeah I'm crazy I know I know I know I know I'm crazy don't tell anyone that's just how I really like to work. Use your scraps. Where was my little... Oh, there. Really, I need a glass. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> I hate glasses. Not particularly for seeing, but... Any sunglasses too, I really hate. I need them, but I hate them. I just hate I do too. I don't want anything on my nose. So perhaps if the time is ripe for me having glasses, then I hope they can invent a really thin one so I don't feel it. Or contact lenses is also an option. I really don't know which one I like. But for now, I don't need them white yet. This one is just a little shorter. So let's cut it first before the glue is to go dry. Yep, there we go. Burn that down so the glue is really into the papers. Alright, what do you think? Cool, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, what I did with this one, well, is uh, put some cards in, but I will do that later on. So I know exactly where I want to card. And you see, I did use some decoration, but I did that later on. So you will see that, me using, yeah, that's another, another piece I cut out. So, um, yeah, so for now it's done. What do you think? Easy peasy, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Okay. Right. Thanks for watching. Up to the next booklet.